Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So it is, again, so early in the morning they woke me up and I love it when it's like this because it feels very on purpose. There is like such a vein to this message. Um, besides the selenite heart back there that always joins me for the readings, they wanted me to grab this um, selenite heart as well. And as you can see, it's like a crystal grid. And the message was to keep spreading the joy in your heart. Keep spreading the joy in your heart. First of all, you have endless supply has been a recurring message to pour your heart and soul into things now. But we're all connected. Oh, there's a lot that like, always comes through that we're so contagious. A lot happens energy-wise. Your energy is so important. Um, so keep pouring your joy, the, the joy, have joy in your heart and pour it out um, to people, places, things, all of that. We're all connected and it's making a huge difference. Um, it couldn't be understated enough. It's coming out in all these readings. Um, and also, I love the flower of life, you know, the connectiveness. It's all the flower of life. And they said, you have no idea what's blooming. You have no idea the seeds that you're planting and the bloomation that I say. It's, I know it's a new word, but um, what's blooming here is truly amazing. And you're going to see it in new ideas, new flourishings. Um, they, we're making a better has been a recurring message. So continue pouring the joy, your love into things. It's divine ingredients and we're all connected. So it's making things better for yourself and others. And so I love, I mean, I love that they gave me this crystal um, that I keep out for myself to remind me throughout the day that we're all connected. And you also have this divine support and backing. Like this is what is working underneath your feet, what you're connected to all around you. Um, so like they said, you're not doing it alone. We're all connected. You have spiritual backing. You also have people in the physical backing and love and support as well. But to keep connected, continuing doing your loving work that's the best doing your loving work pouring your heart and soul into things you have no idea just how connected you are to things how you're being divinely used how your energy your outpouring is being used for blooming things, literally blooming things, and we're all connected. Um, so I wanted to show you, they wanted me to show you that. So we're going to get into the spirit pick me up reading. This is when I use all the free spirit cards to get messages. First, for the journey. So I didn't even set up because it, that came through so quickly that um, I didn't even get a chance to set up the card. So I didn't want to lose it. So sometimes I just quickly put up my camera and... Um, you know, almost following instructions, and I don't want to lose what they're what they want included. So I have to hurry up because I didn't even write it down. Um, so that was that message. So let's get into the reading itself. We're going to go into six decks here, and we're going to cover everything. So what we're going to do is tap into the natural oracle for life to get messages for the journey right now. What's been coming through a lot? Know that you're on a divine path, a crown path. You're right where you're supposed to be. Everything is aligned. You're right within divine timing. You could have divine people, events, circumstances, a lot of signs, symbols, messages to give you confirmation right now that you're on the right path and to stay on the own, your own track. A lot of what we're doing is new, like you're kind of blazing a trail, a new trail. Even if we're going back to the old, we're blazing a new trail. So don't look at other people. <clears throat> really don't look at all the old people. Don't do anything that takes away from your full power. Okay, that's what they're saying over and over. Be you, be authentically you, pouring out your love, your heart, your energy to things, your blooming things, you're being divinely used and you're divinely supported. So we're gonna tap into natural oracle for life of the journey. We're gonna tap into real divine self-care. We're gonna tap into our divine power here. How we can remain connected to real divine abundance, which is supporting us for this growth here, this blumation of all we're doing. We're gonna get divine spirit messages for our divine spirit, and then we're gonna end it with pure love from spirit. So I'm gonna get right into it now that they have cleared the way of that message. <laughs> so let's see what's gonna come through. Just clear out your mind and heart, and we'll get messages for the journey. They're ready already. This is like, yeah. I mean, there's a reason. I mean, I literally just woke up five, five minutes ago. Yeah. Okay, so right now, this is a recurring message, but now it's the first card that we're decluttering for more right now. So a lot could be actually clearing out. Like I said before, and they've been saying we're being excavated out to hold more love and light and to more freely be able to pour out more of ourselves into things. We could really be going through a decluttering right now. And it could be on massive massive levels like you'll be amazed of what can be excavated now for 
really making more room. But this is, some love is trying to come in here, make some more room in your life for more to come in. It may be time to declutter your mind, your body, your spirit, your home. Make some more room for good things to come in. More things are coming in, good things. They want to make sure that we're up for it, we're ready for it, we're decluttering a lot. It could be out of your mind and heart and your home, things, situations, people, things leaving because it's, we're going up a notch, we're going up a level. This has been a recurring message. Um, right now, yeah, and look what's coming in. Make room for those divine connections. There's going to be divine connections been on your path that... Look what just popped out. We see all you are doing. That's That was the pure love that just came out while I said. They see all we are doing. This came out in the last reading also in the Kashik that they said be and work like a master. Right now, uh, reach out for good connections. So this is literally, it's time to connect and reconnect. Reach out and form good connections now. Help and support is now available through your connections. They're going to be making sure, like while you're pouring yourself out, that you're being led to the right people. If you're, you're right within divine timing, right people. You're being divinely connecting with people for further floration, like blumation. I know I make up my known words because a lot of this is beyond words, but they're going to help you. Don't be afraid to connect with people, reconnect. People are going to be reaching out to you. It's going to be through connections. We're not doing it alone. Like they said, we have spiritual backing and people in the physical. So reach out for those good connections. And that's also an underscore. It's good connections. You know, people who support you, it's reciprocal, backing, loving, supportive for what you're trying to flourish in your life. They're going to help you. Divine connections. That also came out about helpful people. You know, uh, people are being divinely used at this time. So that came out in our overall weekly as well, that you're going to have divine connections at the finish line. Yes, yes, yes. You made it. You made it. You're nearing the end and almost there. You can see the sun and the moment to celebrate soon. We're at the finish line. We could see the light at the end of the tunnel. The Six of Swords had come out in the recent reading that we are going to literally the light at the end of the tunnel. It's been a dark, stormy sea that we've had to ride. We could feel the new light coming in, new things coming in. Things are clearing, opening up. We've made it. You can see that around you on the big stage. We feel like we hit the finish line. A lot of things are, it's been a long journey to get to this point. Okay, and look up with this. Believe in something greater. This is our spiritual connection. If you have to think of like the Hierophant in the tarot, this is what our divine guidance, which came out in all our readings, has led the way, even through the forest, through the trees, to always uh, have our eyes and heart on the sun, even when we were deep in the forest. If I can use analogies, right? How we made it to the finish line. Who's helping us find those connections and who is helping us declutter for more to come in, rooting us on. They kept on saying we have spiritual cheer cheerleaders, but believing in something greater. Believe there's always something greater than you at work and all is happening for a reason and for a higher purpose. And you know this. this this is what has gotten us through. This is what's still divinely guiding us. And this is what we're listening to. We're almost trusting our divine guidance, our intuition above anything else. It's keeping us at the proper frequency and it's keeping us going and doing what we're doing. Yeah, look at these three. Everything's coming out. Again, they're saying at the finish line, light at the end of the tunnel. You can now see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's been a long, dark road, just what I was saying about the forest and the trees, and you're finally seeing the light. There are easier times ahead. Make no doubt about it, easier times ahead. Here's the divine saying that. They're looking at you as divine, a divine flower here, a divine plant here, a divine rose here, your divine inner beauty, how you're being divinely used, how you're standing up in your beauty, in your inner divinity right now, being used in this fashion here. Um, there is a divine natural beauty to this flower as there is with you. Remind yourself of that often and of all your natural beauty inside and out, of your natural skills, talents, divine love, joy, like they said, and share it. Like you're planted here, rise up, pour, keep pouring it out. This is part of it. Like they said, the blumation here. We're all connected. This is the flower of life kind of pattern. And you are the flower. You see, and each one of us. And we we are part of this grid. Keep pouring out your divinity, your divine love, joy into things, people, places, situations. You're part of what's newly blossoming here. And here it literally says, release to fly release to fly. That's the transformation that we're guided to here. So it's time to let go. 
<clears throat> and release yourself from anything or anyone that is holding you down. It's your time to release, to let go and fly. We have been kind of transformed to be, um, yeah, I would say bolder, more of our higher self, letting go of things, releasing yourself of anyone or anything, holding us back. That's been happening with the with everything that's going on in the big stage. Um, and it's your time to release, let go, and fly. That's literally what they're saying, flying forward in your fullness. Keep pouring your love, your joy into new things. We're at the light at the end of the tunnel. So it is a time to let go and release, and it's time to fly. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, gosh, right away. Yes, look what just came out. Believe in miracles. Yes, yes, that's what they're saying. We made it through the light at the end of the tunnel. It's time to release and fly. Um, go for the new and believe in miracles. That's the backing that you have. Always believe in miracles. Your life itself is a miracle and there's more on its way. Welcome the miracles. This literally came out in another reading recently that we're sending you some miracles. So make no mistake, they're sending us some miracles to support us. Like I said, you stand with your divinity like the rose you are in this grid, you know, like this. You know, know what you're a part of. Know what you're a part of. Know what's backing you to be that here. You're supported. I know I have to repeat that. It's 11-11 on the video when I say that. Stand like that because and believe, continue to believe in miracles. You're divinely supported. Light at the end of the tunnel. It's going for the new, knowing you're supported and really releasing a lot to fly now. It's releasing a lot to fly. And you have the backing. Here's the backing right here supporting you as well. So let's see what we can take care of ourselves to stand as this rose. You know, to stand... Because they're saying remind yourself of that often, you know, remind yourself of what you're a part of, remind yourself of your divinity, remind yourself of what you're connected to, remind yourself that what you're doing is important, tune in, yeah, and listen to your intuition for divine guidance and wisdom, here it is, so this is what you want to stay tapped into as you're going and going for new things, reminding yourself of that often is very important, and the spirit is reminding you often. That's why they're saying tune in and listen to your intuition for the divine guidance and wisdom. They're showing you the way. Like I said, we're trusting our intuition over our physical right now. It is our divine compass. Like they said, they're giving us direct divine guidance to manifest, help to manifest. Yeah, expect and desire more for yourself as you strive to always better yourself in situations. Like they kept on saying in the other readings, you're making it better, you're making things better, you're making life better, you're making it better. You're you're blooming things here. Um, so pour yourself out into things to bloom things. Do you see what I'm saying? Expect and desire more for yourself as you strive to always better yourself in situations. You're being used to better situations, to better things. That has come out in every reading that you're being used to make it better and you are making it better. That was the overall weekly spirit reading for this week. You are making things better, better here. Take the time to balance and ground. Balancing has been very important right now. Take the time to balance and ground when feeling scattered or overwhelmed. Yeah, there's still a lot going on in our world, and they always say, be hold the energy of what the world is not yet. That's why I kind of call you a little rebel spirit in a way, because you can't go by what the masses are doing. Um, you can't fall into that trap. You have to hold on and feel very personal in your power as this full rose. Like, stand in your glory, pouring yourself out. Remind yourself often of your natural beauty inside and out. You're being divinely used to make things better, and it, you have to take the time to balance that out and ground when feeling scattered or, or overwhelmed by other people's energy. That's because we're, we're human here. <laughs> we get affected. Um, this is what we're supposed to stay tapped into. Um, and don't let things sap your personal energy. And when you feel it, you take a moment to balance and ground. That's been a recurring message. Get back to tuning in and listening to your own intuition for divine guidance and wisdom right? Yet this is what's supporting you here. It's just amazing like how they're reiterating the same messages. And these two are also leaning on the divine guidance. And this is our Rara section, okay? Because they're saying, expect and desire more for yourself. You're striving to always better yourself in situations. You're being divinely used to make things better and take the time to balance and ground whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or scattered. Lean on them. Hand it over if it's stressing you out. Take a moment to tune in to here because that's what they're saying. Tune in to us so that's your backing love and support to stay you know upright full vibrant sharing more of all you are into things 
Um, we're definitely at the light at the end of the tunnel, and now it's the time to pour yourself into other things, to, to literally release and fly. So let's get additional messages. Let's tap into our divine power. What are divine powers being used for? What are they saying we should do with our divine power at this time? Yeah, you have divine power to notice and follow the signs. Like I said, they're coming through so strongly with signs, symbols, messages. You want to tune into your intuition for divine guidance directly that you feel nudges, inspiration. But outside of yourself in the world, you're going to be seeing and noticing a lot of synchronicities, signs, symbols, messages, numbers, aha moments, um, things appearing in your life. Um, oh my gosh, I should show you. Oh, I can't get it. But um, yeah, I mean, certain symbols and things, you know, right after I did that angel wing message, I showed you just wings, white wings. I said, you have spiritual cheerleaders. Do you know I was clearing the table and I was about to vacuum on the floor around this table, this table that I work on. I always make sure I, I wash it down. I clean underneath, blah, blah, blah. And down there was a coin and I tend to find, I save coins that I find around the house because I feel like that's uh, coins are a big thing for me. Okay, but it could show up in any which way. But you know, this was not just any coin. On the coin, it had angel wings on the coin. I know you're not going to believe me. Hold on a second. Just hold on. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> hold on. Sorry about that. I don't know how to pause and edit videos, so I literally ran all through my house to show you. If you look on my channel, the, the video that just has angel wings, and I said, you have spiritual cheerleaders. Later that day, I was, like I said, I was clearing up. I went down to vacuum. I picked up a coin. I didn't want it to get stuck in the vacuum cleaner. I see it laying here, and I'm like, what the heck is this? And I'm like, what kind of coin is this? And are you ready for this? Uh, hello, this is an angel. Is this an angel? This is an angel. And I'm like, what coin is this? This is right after I posted, we have spiritual cheerleaders and posted the wings, okay? And it says here, thank you for being an angel to someone in need. So I went all through my house being like, where did this come from? So I'm asking all of in my family and everyone, I'm like, what is this? I've never seen a coin like this in my life. I just posted a video with angel wings and now I find this on the floor. So, um, yeah, so apparently it's, I, it might be from a charity or something when they send you something in the mail. I never saw it. It must have fallen on the floor. I have no idea. But what I'm saying is things are synchronistic. I've never in my life found a coin with angel wings. And it was literally moments after I posted that you have spiritual cheerleaders. And I just posted angel wings, which, by the way, is strange that I didn't use cards to even illustrate that message. I, use, I usually use tarot oracle cards to illustrate the message that I get. Um, so I am so glad I have the opportunity to share this on this channel in this moment because this just happened the other day and it's things like that that you can't even put into words that you know a lot of people don't even have patience to even hear you out to show, to show you the evidence of like what just happened to the synchronistic event that just totally fed you on another level. Meanwhile, this stays in my bedroom like this is like I made a special like put it on my altar. I mean this was quote unquote evidence like I always say collect your own spiritual evidence of when things show up for you. Um, you don't even have to explain it to another person. I'm glad I had an opportunity to share that, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, these are amazing things. They're signs, symbols, messages. It's such a personal feeding. It, they're showing up in ways just like a wink, wink, like, yeah, we see you. Just like this came out here. We see all you are doing. They do, and they show up, and I don't know how it works. I just am grateful it does, and um, yeah, I mean, just like things are left in your path. Is it things are just left in your path for you to find at the right place, right time, to have your divine power be up for the things that you're supposed to be doing. You know, like I keep on saying, we don't have a rah-rah section in the physical. There are a rah-rah section. <laughs> you have divine power to tap into now. Yes, you do. Tune in and listen to your intuition for divine guidance and wisdom. And here you have divine power to create it. What did I say? We're being divinely used. That's why they want you to remind yourself of your beauty, your innate skills, inside and out to know that's why they're giving you a rah-rah because you're here to create it like they said be and work like a master came out in the akashic that's why they want us to be in our power and they remind us because so much takes away from our power we don't realize 
things, thoughts, and things we have in our hearts and our minds, or what people do to us, or what we come in contact with, or the energies around, they take our power. It's like a wilted flower. And then here they come, they give us a little personal feeding, like water, you know? Like when I got this, that was like a jolt of like water, you know, like watering me. It's like we see like this. It was like we see all you are doing. I mean, that was right after I posted the, the message to you guys. You know, that's what I'm saying. That is literally what I'm saying. Okay, so let's tap into divine, real divine abundance. And I feel that's very much a part of real divine abundance. And that's why I kept on saying we're so rich. We're so rich. Like if you have that going on in your life, it is invaluable. You can't even put a price on it. It is, we are rich. <laughs> we are rich, it's invaluable. It's like so thankful and grateful. It is invaluable. And they look at us as jewels, which we don't look at ourselves that way, but they do. And that's a recurring message as well. They're saying each positive thought is creating more right now. Yep. And a lot of the times those sign symbols messages are coming in there to lift our spirits up. I know it sounds very light to say, spirit, pick me up and let, let, uplift your spirit. But they always say it's the number one thing to do because every positive thought creates more. It puts you in the right direction. Like say you're going a little left in your thoughts or a little right. If you get a little pick me up, then you're on the straight. You're going for the um, positive you're, going, you're, you're fully going in the right way, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, so that's why you also get it as well, these personal feedings. Okay, so here we have, listen, you can't make this up. Listen to your intuition and follow where it leads. It's your divine compass. We're using that over the physical, you know? We're using it over our, the physical. Um, intuition and divine guidance is your direct connection to real divine abundance. Each positive feeling is creating more right now. Do you see that? Each positive thought and each positive feeling is creating more right now. That is why they're keeping us up for this in thought and feeling. Your mind and heart aligned. Like this, when your mind and heart are aligned, there's no stopping you. And you have your divine compass to keep that in the right flow. Do you see how that works? That's literally what they're talking about. And that's the balance. It's like your mind and your heart are aligned to your full purpose. Like knowing your divinity, what you're here for, your purpose. And you're, you're, that's, you're connected to this. This is your backing. They're reminding you of that almost every step of the way. And you just keep going like that. Listen and then listen and follow where it leads. Going in that fashion. I mean, it's amazing what is being planted, what's being bloomed. Um, okay, direct divine spirit messages for our divine spirit. Direct divine spirit messages for our ooh, wow. <gasps> you can't make this up. Listen to the divine guidance now. We believe in you. This is why they want you to believe in yourself. You know, remind yourself of that often, of all your natural beauty inside and out, what you're connected to. You're being divinely used right now. Listen to the divine guidance now. We believe in you. They believe in you and they believe in what you're doing. And the number one thing to do is listen to your divine guidance. And are you ready for what slid out when I was like, okay, that's it. You're living your life divinely. They want you to know that you're living your life divinely. It came, if, especially if you're doing this, listen to the divine guidance. We believe in you and you're, you're going this way. You are living your life divinely. And it came out in the Akashic Records reading that um, be, in act, be and work like a master. And I'm telling you, there's a reason why only a handful of people see my readings and messages. I know that. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm just saying, I'll leave it there. But there is a reason. There is a reason for the people that do find these readings. You are living your life divinely. And you're being divinely used. And the number one thing is to listen to your divine guidance. They believe in you. Okay? And they're saying you're living your life divinely. Remember, they see what you're doing. They're reminding you of that often. Often, often, often. Because you're not getting it in the physical. You're, you're here to bloom and blossom and manifest things that are not yet here or not quite here. And it's like, um, yeah, I mean, you're being divinely used here to um, definitely. Okay, there are a lot of pure love from spirit messages coming out here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we are here for you through this. That's why they're like, listen to your divine guidance. We will help you through it. We're here for you through this. We will help you through it. We have the light at the end of the tunnel, the finish line, all of that. It's all through our divine guidance. Like I said, we made it through it and we're doing things with our divine guidance. We will help heal the situation. No doubt part of the miracles of the great massive healing that's going on on the big stage, small stage. Did you see how quickly that that happened that, or that that's taking place? They're really helping us with healing situations. Um, in
inside and out, by the way, but you can see that's part of why we see such tremendous light coming in here. And we're getting, yeah, okay, we know how you feel. They know how we feel during this time. We love you and we will help you prosper. Yeah, so this, this is tremendous love backing and they're also helping us, like they said, your direct divine guidance is helping you to manifest. They're helping you to prosper. They're helping you to go forward in this fashion and pour all you are into things. They also know how you feel and that could be why they send you sign symbols messages when you need it. They're helping you through things. They're helping you to do things. They are constantly showing the love and the way to go to help you prosper, to move on. To, and they're helping us to heal through situations to go on further for further blumation, prospering, manifesting. Because they keep saying, and right in my hands, yeah, that's it. We're helping you over obstacles. That's part of the miracles. All the obstacles that were in our way are clearing. We're making it to the finish line, the light at the end of the tunnel. They're helping to heal situations so that we can prosper. They know how we feel. That's probably why it's checking out. Like here, take the time to balance and ground if you're ever feeling scattered or overwhelmed. They know that we're trying to better ourselves in situations. They're helping us through all that. The key thing is to listen to your intuition. Listen to your divine guidance. They believe in you and what you're doing. And by the way, you are living your life divinely. I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh. So this has been the Spirit Pick Me Up reading for whenever you find it. Take care. Bye-bye.